accent by virtue of being born and raised in the great state of Texas. I uh, moved to Las Vegas and joined the police department in 1989. The area that I have to patrol is the northwest section of the city. We're out of the Northwest Area Command. It is a very, very populous area. It's probably the most rapidly growing area in the valley. A tremendous amount of new home construction, tremendous amount of apartment construction, and... Victor, three, you want to be with him? Permanent. Okay, we have a stolen vehicle. Uh, apparently, uh, the person that took the vehicle is intoxicated that he is in the neighborhood. We're going to try at this point to see if we can locate him. That might be him, too. He's going the wrong way in traffic. Patrol through Victor 34. I have a possible subject. He's on a bicycle. He's out here uh, driving around on Lake Mead. He's traveling in the uh, eastbound travel lanes, going westbound. Female 408, and when she was advised the place for call, she uh, took out the back door. There that idiot is. Shut it down! Huh? Shut it down! Get off the bike! Up on the car. Huh? What are you doing out here acting like an idiot? Get up on the car. Take the backpack off and get up on the car. God, sir, you scared the out of me. Put the backpack down on the ground. Put your hands yeah. behind your back. What are you doing out here driving like that, man? I was just riding. Just riding, you're all in traffic. Hey, excuse me. What are you doing? You know you have the same obligations on that bicycle you do in a car? You, you can't go the wrong way on the street, you can't jump curbs, you can't run up sidewalks, you can't circle around in 7-Eleven parking lots. Just trying to... Just trying to what? Anything in here with your name on it? Just a bunch of cars I found at the casinos. That you found at the casinos? Stuck in the machines, go right there. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm going to slip these cuffs on you until I figure this out, okay? It's a little bit strange when you got uh, credit cards that don't belong to you, you got identification that doesn't belong to you. You're not under arrest at this time, you understand? If I run the names on these cards and they come up the victim of a burglary, that's not going to look real good, is it? You can run them, sir. What are you going to do if they come up with the victim of a burglary? I wouldn't think that because somebody would just leave it and left them in the machine. Is this your wallet? Yes, it is, sir. How come it has nothing in your name inside? That's probably my roommate. You have any idea what's on this receipt? I'm, I, I don't know. Hmm. Well, there's some two containers of Summer's Eve. Uh, hair coloring, hair conditioner, shampoo. Uh, some women's underwear. You mind if I look in your bag? There's a pair of bolt cutters and my flashlight. A pair of bolt cutters and flashlight. Uh-huh, that's very interesting. What would we keep bolt cutters for? I was cutting the spokes off my hub in Mike's garage right over here. Might be a pair of burglary tools, you think? No, sir. You might need a flashlight so you can look around in the dark. Okay, that for protection. Pretty nice flashlight. Okay, protection, sir. Is this your book? What's in it? Phone number. Whose phone number? Let's see. There's Michelle, there's Nathan, there's Mike, there's... Uh, um, That's not yours, is it? 
that's, uh, I picked it up yesterday. What was your arrest for here? Petty theft. What did you take then? What did I take? Do you have anything in your pockets I need to know about? You have, no, I don't want you reaching at them. I want you to tell me whether you have anything in your pockets I need to know about. Yes, no, maybe? Yeah, I have a line and a baggie. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Which pocket is it in? It's in the little teeny one. Where? The little one. This pocket? Yes, sir. Yeah, it looks like we have a small quantity of methamphetamine. Anything else on you that I need to know about? Anything that's going to bite, poke, cut, or stick me before I put my hands in your pockets? Yes, sir. I'm still curious as to why you tried to get away from us. Is it a little bit of dope scare you that bad? Yeah, it does. Why? Because I have a problem, and I can't admit to it. I guess I can't admit to it, but that is enough to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail, but it's as not I... only enough to go to jail. That's enough to go to prison. I just want help with my problem. What kind of help would you like? I'd like to do treatment or something that I can, so I can get off that and get a life. Would you stay on a, on a program? Yes, I would. I just talked to my mom the other night, and I, I, I feel heartless and empty and worthless. And that's why right there. I agree wholeheartedly. I tell you what, it takes a big man to stand up there and say that, too. It's true. When I have you get in the back, I want you to watch your head going in. It's a little tight. you got long legs. Be careful. Uh, we will have to take him down tonight. We'll book him for possession of controlled substance for the methamphetamine. He'll be booked for possession of burglary tools as well. Uh, I think he will be a very good candidate to try to refer to the drug court. And uh, who knows? Maybe